Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Sketch Club. My name is Jason Meyer, and tonight we're going to be doing our two 15-minute sketches. Um, we're working on compositions this week, and we're going to be doing a sunset, a beach sunset nonetheless, and then a moon rising over a ranch. So that'll be a lot of fun. But uh, I know some of you guys are new to sketching around here. Some of you guys are old hat. Let's see, Janny, good to see you, kiddo. Mr. Tom Dawson. And Susan's here. So can I take a minute, guys? It's literally one minute long and show you guys something. I worked on it for six hours today. And since you guys are, uh, well, it's the first time I did anything. I've been in video for about four years now. And uh, this is the first time I put this together. Still says, oh, yeah, we got to get some of that done too. Oof. All right, well, let's take a look at this new video. And you guys give me a uh, thumbs up or a thumbs down for it, okay? Let me know what you guys think. Time is precious, so stop wasting it. We have a quandary to solve. How can I develop as an artist, find my own voice, and be supported by fellow artists? Searching for a solution can really seem like a waste of time. Between vague information and even bad advice, no one wants that. There must be a better way. Fortunately, we can help. Meyer Studio has the solutions, saving you precious time so you can spend it on more enjoyable activities. Meyer Studio, let's grow better together. Find out more at jasonmeyer.com. All right, guys, there it is. So you'll have to have to let me know. <laughs> you'll have to let me know. I was working off a template, but anyway, there we go. All right, well, we got a good show. We've got it recorded. So why don't we head right into uh, the intro and let's get sketching, guys. Hey, Marty made it tonight. Good evening, Marty. Glad you've been able to join us. All right, let's see what we can get into tonight. Okay, so as promised, first up is a sunset over the beach. So you can notice that the very bottom's the darkest, and the very top, I'm gonna keep the next. And then we have the sun shining with the reflection. And so you're gonna see me spend most of my time setting up those big pieces. All right, well, we gotta go for it for Ah, oh, thanks. I have to admit, guys, I, it's kind of embarrassed showing you that. I don't know, just never doing it. But hey, I'm putting myself out there, so I hope you guys will put yourself out there and, um, and do some sketching, do some art. It's the only way we learn is to do it. Thanks, Marty. Appreciate it. Pretty cool and fun, too. Okay, guys. Well, you might be seeing that around. Cindy's in charge of all the advertising. This one was made for Facebook and Instagram. So maybe in the next week or so, that'll be out and about, and we'll see what happens. Mr. Randy Pound, what are you doing, my friend? Are we late okay? Better late than never. So we're doing two 15 minutes tonight. So I wanted to place the sun a little below halfway and a little beyond halfway. And then I just really want a small dark beach here, which is some small darks 
poking up out of that dark to read his figures. <laughs> oh, I'm pontificating tonight, buddy. I'm pontificating tonight, so hold on. Get your amens ready. <clears throat> so one of the exercises that we had for this week in class was to practice getting even tone at different values. So right here is exactly where a skill like that will come in handy. Now I'm going to jump right to the finish and I want to think about right in the middle of that sunbeam on the ocean. Right? We want some figures right there. Right? We don't want them all the same and everything. And no need to spell it out. Right? This is about the sunset. It's not about these figures. But you'll be amazed at in the in the end at how well it'll actually read as people on the beach. So along with this dark, I'm gonna get a one more dark as a first wave out there. And that'll be all of my number four value for this paint, for this sketch. This sketch. I just did this a little while ago. That little, little promo, that was six straight hours. But, uh, I don't know. It was, uh, <clears throat> It marks something for me. Who knows what? Who knows what? All right, and then I, you want to be sensitive with this next wave, right? Because scale is important. So it's going to be very much smaller than the people, but I want it intersecting the people so we get some light, dark, light, dark, light, dark happening right there. And you'll see that happen when I come back with my white. And again, I'm not putting a straight line all the way across. I'm letting it break a little bit. But I am trying to have it intersect those peep, those darks, verticals, which are going to read as people. So that all the darks stay connected. Just uh, shaking off the charcoal dust. Shaking the charcoal dust into the trash can. Okay, and so now as I get some of my white chalk in between those darks, right, it's going to carry a little more weight, right, than it might otherwise. And I'm going to let my white marks kind of climax there too, outside of the sun probably. All right, so I could use that white chalk to help kind of outline, highlight those figures right there in the in our sunbeam for our beach sunset. Who doesn't want to be a beach at sunset? I guess if you're a sand hater or something, that probably wouldn't be your thing. Sand hater, water hater, sunset hater. I'm sure there's good reason to avoid sand for some people. I don't know. I don't know. So the other thing is that reflection is going to stop at the water. Right? And I'm going to leave a little distance between the water and the setting sun. Right? Just a little bit of space there. Because I, I want to think about the rhythm of that light. Rather than being one solid white mark, I like the idea of having the sun and then the beam of light, the one wave, and then a little bit of white there. That, I don't know, that seems like a good rhythm to me. Interesting, interesting. Well, I guess the jury's out whether it's good yet or not.
So I spent almost half my time on those two values. And I decided before I want to go to my gray, I need to juice up the sun so that I'm comparing correct values. We got a like-love battle happening up here. What's going on? Is something happening behind the scenes I don't know about? <laughs> Are you guys just like brightening the sun? Juice it. <laughs> Mr. Pettit. Mr. Pettit, Mr. Pettit. Oof. All right, guys. All right, so as these people from high school and stuff pop up, you can't listen to too many of their stories. There's no way they could be true. There's no way those stories could be true. I hope you're doing well, Mr. Pettit. I haven't been on Facebook. The last time I saw you had moved to Durango, Colorado. I landed there for a couple of months when I left Texas. So, uh... I think you were taking some classes up there. It's good seeing you. You look healthy. You're running like crazy. So yeah, you gotta juice up the sun, pump it up. All right? You gotta have that before you do your grays. Before you do the grays. Yeah, look at you there in the kayak. I love it, buddy. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I developed some pretty severe uh, allergies, man. I'm kind of locked inside. I'm kind of like an indoor cat these days. Hard to believe. Jason and I used to uh, mountain bike like crazy before mountain biking was even a thing. Some good times. Good times, good times, good times. So now I'm doing this gray shape up here. Hey, hey, thanks, man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Like seeing the art, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it only took me about 20 years to get any good. I had to disappear for a while. Everything I was doing was so bad I couldn't show my face anywhere. So, some of us are a little slower than others. Jason's a fantastic uh, trumpet player, too. Very talented, talented guy. So, in some ways this can look very simple, but let's, let's talk about what we do have here. I've got a dark shape at the bottom and it's got a certain character, right? Basically horizontal with just a few of those little vertical marks and that little horizontal mark after so kind of a nice dark note and then that notes compared with the white chalk right the, the the circle the sphere of the sun and then the glare on the water right again interrupted by the wave and the people right there so then that gets to be an interesting kind of note which is very different than the dark note and so f for these gray clouds at the top, again, if, if I can get a different sort of character to that note, right? Uh, um, to the shape of it, to the feel of the value, um, right? All this is is about pattern making, right? And so with these subtle ways, we wanna see how we can um, vary and change each of these shapes to give it more visual interest. More visual interest. All right, I mean, people are gonna be looking at these. They won't be licking them or, hopefully they won't be running their fingers over them. So, but that's why they make fixative. Put some fixative on it. If you got the touchy-feely people around, get it varnished. Get some fixative on it, then let them run their fingers over it. Mm 
Okay, and again, you know, 15 minutes isn't very long. So here what I'm doing now is getting kind of a lesser gray that'll hold the glow of the sun. All right? Along with the water, I mean, we're at the beach, man. We need water. Uh, it's going to be kind of just a little bit lighter and grayer so that we can save that tone of the paper for the idea of luminosity from the sun. Again, those simple exercises of flat, even tones, when it comes to doing something like that, boom, right here, that's where we are. We're gonna have some gradation exercises too coming up this month. And uh, so between being able to hold a flat, even tone and controlling your gradation between lighter and darker, you got the skills you need, man. And those are things that can be learned, right? Those, these are things that can be learned, right? You can develop a sense of touch, right? You can develop your taste. And you know, the more you're around it, the more you're exposed to it, the more it'll be developed, right? And so to help us with this, along with the classes, we have our sketch club, which shows up every Sunday and Tuesday on Facebook. And then on YouTube, we have on Monday nights at seven, Masterworks, where we look at master drawings and paintings and see how they handle some of these problems, right? So we get inspiration, we find out what's possible. Sketch Club is kind of like keeping us in shape. And then we got morning feedback, and that's a supplement to the classes. Um, so that students can turn their work in and then three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on YouTube. It's called Morning Jumpstart. And it's literally get you a little feedback on your painting, on your work, talk about maybe what's next, so that you don't have to sit and wonder, what should I do, what should I do? Let's get you back in the studio and working. Keep it moving. Keep those marks a making. The world needs some beauty. All right? Well, in the way I look at it, whether it needs beauty or not, I'm going to try to see if I can't give it a little. Who knows how it'll turn out, but it seems like a pretty good intention to have. It seems like a good intention to have to me. Oof. How you guys doing? We're down to 15 seconds. I'm gonna try to get a little glow on these clouds before that, before that clock runs out on us. Oh man, that clock. Time, what's the deal with time? Oof. Yeah, I may steal a few extra seconds here. It's hard to walk away. Hard to walk away. Right, but we want to get that sun out lighting those clouds. That's going to be part of that. But again, none of this is about finishing anything. This sketch club, it's just about stretching our little artistic muscles, giving our minds some problems to solve in a little bit of a different way. Oh, that's true. Time waits for no one. Oof, that is so true, my friend. So true. So, uh, let's not waste it. Let's get going. All right. 15 minutes and I think this is just under a minute. Let's have a quick review before we go to our second sketch for the night. So my number four value, right? And that little detail like the wave being dark and the people being, makes all the difference in the world, right? Those little subtle things and again, how can we get each of these value shapes, not only being a little different value, but also having a little different character, right? And hopefully that's gonna add some visual interest to this. So we aspire, 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 and, and oh, the time runs out and falls short. But hey, hey, it's on to the next one, guys. It's on to the next one. And the next one is, uh, Moonrise over the ranch. Moonrise over the ranch. 
Okay, so how I'm going to approach this is there's a sunset happening on those buildings as the moon is rising behind it over the hills. So I'm going to let the side of the buildings get in sunlight be white, white chalk. I'm going to let that moon rising have a little bit of white chalk. And then I'm going to arrange them in a sort of a triangle, but I'm going to try to have it a little bit of a dynamic triangle. And then I'll fill the other things in around that. Fill it in around that. Hi right. guys! Look who just showed <laughs> up! Yoo-hoo! And you know what? Randy Pound just booked a national commercial. What? And it's Pepsi. Can you say that? I can. I just did. He did. He put it on Facebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Good job, bud. So excited. Good job. Hi. <laughs> I know. I'm all. We just got back from the park. Izzy just had her first volleyball. Uh, skills camp or whatever you want to call it. She had such a good time. She's oh, with fun. the she's with the big kids, and her team person was a fifteen year old. So she's stoked. <laughs> <laughs> so keep sketching. And right it's cool on. to see uh, Jason Pettit on there too, and everybody else. Susan, yeah. Tom, Claudia, Jenny, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she does it all. You did get it, and th you're welcome, man. You well deserved. Well deserved. I hope you get thousands more, buddy. Thousands more. Good job. <clears throat> All right, so we got some roof lines. We're gonna have some trees and stuff come in here. But again, for 15 minutes, and this is about really the composition of the whole thing this week, right? So we're avoiding details for the sake of trying to really develop a decent composition. And here I'm thinking about that tri triangle. Thinking about that triangle. Where exactly am I going to place that moon? Right? How low? How close to the building? Man, so many questions. So many questions. Yes, we are super proud of you, Randy. Good job, bud. Good job, yo. <laughs> wonder everything there. Miss Cindy's wonder everything, I tell you. I done good. I don't know what to say other than I done good. <clears throat> I don't have much skill myself, but I managed to hang out with the right people. So, so I'm going to say I done good. Okay, again, the, the little different nature of just the bald hill, the grass versus the tree on there. We want some trees behind the hill and then trees in front of the hill and we can use those trees to de describe the slope of that as well. So all those things are trying to go through my mind while I'm thinking, you've only got 15 minutes, you gotta hurry, ah! Everybody's watching you. So see, you can do this in the closet. Nobody's gotta be even know you're doing this. I'm putting it out there for everybody to see whether they want to see or not. Oof. Hope nobody's getting mad. And again, I wanted to put the hill in there on that side so that we could put trees behind the hill. How tricky is that, huh? Tricky, tricky, tricky. But notice that the value of the hills and those trees aren't that far apart. Right? We could almost call, I would call the trees like a dark gray and then the hills a light gray. And since that's all facelet, there's very, very little shadow in there. But ultimately, this is about making a good light dark pattern that's beautiful. So as long as it makes visual sense, right? Do whatever it takes make a beautiful sketch or do your best to make a beautiful sketch
And it's just paper. So if it doesn't turn out beautiful, if it turns out all funky, just wad it up and throw it in the recycling bin. You're good. You're good. All right, so now again on the fly, I'm trying to dream up some trees and shrubbery. And um, I'm trying to dream it up in a sense of a rhythm of a dark shape. Okay. And admittedly, you don't always get it great on the first time. You know, some parts, oh yeah, that, and other parts are oof. But you know, a quick sketch can help you uh, identify what parts you need to work for, clean those babies up, and you're good to go. You're good to go. Sometimes we need that, fi that timer to light that fire under us. Get moving. Ooh, and I got a new saying for you guys. You guys are going to be hearing a lot. As Izzy's speech changes, so will mine. So uh, she's taken to saying, yikes, my dude. <laughs> so, uh, and it seems to go with uh, anything, positive or negative. Just, yikes, my dude. And uh, I don't know if that's a... Uh, I'm not paying any attention whatsoever, but it uh, sounds exciting or exactly what that means. But it is fun to say. It is fun to say. All right, got to start thinking about some roof lines here. And you know, in the buildings would be a little more interesting if you can turn some this way and some that way. But, you know, unless you work with perspective and everything all the time, right, if you're an architect or something doing some sketching, you might be able to pop those out real quick in 15 minutes. For a painter like myself, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get those angles and stuff right. But that's something I can clean up. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Oh, she does it all. Look at that. So, Miss Cindy, excellent. It's not too late. You can still sign up for a new class that starts tomorrow night. Introduction to Procreate. A new way to create. All right, she's got the link there to sign up for that. Or if you need more help, you can just leave a comment or uh, send us a message and we can get you signed up. So tomorrow night at seven o'clock, it'll go for an hour. First half hour will be instruction. We'll explore, we'll learn some things take some questions and answers and then the last half hour we'll try to use our new skills we'll do some sketching and drawing and stuff and uh, if we get stuck in that half hour I'll be right there with you so I can answer your questions all right so an hour will be four evenings four Wednesday nights and it's the whole thing's just $25 so uh, man isn't that less than a cup of coffee that's cheap man cheap so, and we'll have a good time. So Procreate's an app for the iPad. Um, it's a drawing app, an art app, digital art app. So it should be a relatively small class too, so there'll be plenty of time to uh, get you one-on-one -on -one if you're having a little trouble ke keeping up or if I'm going a little slow and need to show you a couple more advanced things to do, I think there's going to be plenty of room to do that for everybody, especially with this format. So, Lots and lots of stuff going on. The online school is up and running. Working on developing ads. We're building our new course. I got friends helping me out, giving me some good advice. <laughs> of course, every movie star needs an iPad, man. Every movie star needs an iPad. Yeah, but if you get one, the, the app is like $10. And it's, it's an incredible app. I mean, just incredible. Um, 
many, many professionals use it. And it's, uh, yeah. So if you got an iPad, newer iPad, or like I got a 2017 iPad Pro, and when I got it, it was only available for the Pro. But uh, now I think you can get it on the new iPad Airs and a lot of the other iPads too. So see if it's something you can get. And if so, I mean, $10 is, oof, I know that's less than a cup of coffee, isn't it? Less than two cups of coffee. At least those big sweet ones with all the whipped cream on them. It's probably better for you too. I'm sure it's better for you. How can it not be better for you? Okay, so how are you guys doing? <clears throat> We're under five minutes. We're actually under four minutes now. So again, I hope you guys are trying to focus on more than getting any one sort of thing, trying to get a whole scene kind of set up. So that rather than spending our time on any individual thing, we can think, hey, do we like this as a whole? Or do we need to enlarge all these trees? Do we need to shrink that white shape? Do we need to elongate that white shape? Are they too squarish? Man, you want interesting branch buildings, Jason, and you put two squares up there? Dude, somebody needs to talk to you. Or I guess I should say, yikes, my dude. Somebody needs to talk to you about an interesting shape. Oof, who's the critic? Who's the critic? But again, when you do this, what'll happen is you'll eventually, maybe not right now, you'll quickly be able to see Oh yeah, that, that shape, I can't get that square, so I need to move this building there and that building there, and then we'll stretch that shape out a little bit, and then that'll be more interesting than kind of ah, and ah. Maybe we can get a good and a woo, right? Now those are technical art terms. I hope you followed that. Hope you followed that. But you know, believe it or not, I, I, I think in those terms, and kind of the, the visual music they make. Mm. You guys learn to float your hand above the paper yet? So you don't smear your charcoal everywhere? Oof, I know when I was starting, I, that was a nightmare for me. I smeared everything everywhere. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Maybe that's why it took me 20 years. I don't know. Slow learner. So it just goes to show, though, you can learn it. You can learn it. Put a little glow around that moon. All right? A little luminosity. Now, I'm kind of really wishing that I'd, uh, if I'd had more time, I would have probably put some cast shadows even though these are face lit if we were able to get some cast shadows on the ground I think that'd go a long way to laying everything down but we get what we get and you know what Pink Alicia says you get what you get and you don't get upset And that's what these darks down here are meant to do, is just to kind of sit those trees on top of the grassland. Top of the grassland. Yeah, I mucked a lot of it up, but hey, it's 15 minutes. <laughs> Somebody's feeling feisty tonight. <laughs> you don't. Somebody's feeling feisty. Oh, she doesn't want to come sit next to me so I can argue. She just wants to send text messages. All right, I see how you are. I see how you be in. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. All right. Yeah, I'm running a few seconds over. It's hard to stop. It's hard to stop. All right, guys, how did you guys do? How'd you guys do? 
Let's watch a rewind, and we'll wrap up the evening. <clears throat> Again, started with thinking about the triangle of the whites, right? So kind of designing those, and then where's the hills and the patterns of the trees going to go in? All right, our dark pattern. She's fixing dinner. Oh, all right. Well, then, I guess she can be feisty if I'm getting dinner out of it. Feist it up. Feist it up. All right, guys. Man, another fun night of sketching. Hope you guys all did well. Yeah, and we'll just let it Cindy say it. So if you love sketching with us and want to learn more, take things at your own pace. Watch how more you check out the charcoal forms, the fundamental forms in our online class. The reason you want the fundamental forms is because everything I built tonight was based on those. The cube, the cylinder, the cone, the sphere. If you learn how to make those in three dimensions, um, and we're talking here in the language of mass, because language of mass is the language of painter, not necessarily the language of line. And so you're going to learn the forms in the language of mass, which is going to translate directly into painting. So uh, that's it. It's only $25, and there's lots and lots of instruction there. So check that out. There's a free preview. I believe there's like seven lessons in the pre free preview. So any doubt, just check it out. Procreate tomorrow night. Sign up for that if that interests you. In the meantime, we'll be back in the morning. This is Tuesday, Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. for Morning Jumpstart. So uh, I hope to see you guys there. Thanks for everything, guys.